Okay, y'all, fanatics, as promised, listen, I'm going to get straight to the video. I'm not going to go around and, and shoot an intro. Well, well, I, I, intro. Okay, guys, in this video, this is real simple. These are the three things you need to do heading into fall or right at the beginning of fall. It's, 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 it's so simple. Your 98-year-old grandma can do this. Check it out. Fanatics. Look, I'm going to get right to us. Wait, before I start, somebody was asking me about this in my Instagram video. That's that Project Source little water spigot rock. Guys, I use it, and you see I'm filming under a tent. And just kind of walk by that every now and then and keep me cool. But that's what that is. Nothing, you know, it's not any herbicide or anything. It's just water. Right? It's a little misting hole. Guys, let's get to this video. In this video, guys, you only need three things to get you headed into fall. And you kind of see what I got here. This is not going to be a fancy schmancy video, guys. I'm just going to give it straight to you. R-A-W. You okay? Right to your face. But check it out. The one of the things, well, I'll just tell you all three. What you need is some kind of insect control. And I know a lot of you guys are screaming about those army worms. I can't shoot an army worm video because I don't get army worms. And the reason I don't get them is because I put down some type of insect control. Now, this is not specifically for army worms, but I'll talk about it in a minute. You're gonna need a pre-emergent. Real simple, guys. Sell it at the store, uh, a 007, or uh, one of the ones I'm trying to bring online is, is this 1907. I'll talk about that in just a minute. And guys, you can do either or. This video is non-sponsored. You can do Sunnyland All Natural, or we can do the Mel Organite. Okay, guys, one of the issues, and I'm getting a little scruffy here, guys, because fall is on the way, so you already know I'm about to go wolf, man. But one of the issues, the reason you guys were getting army worms, and this is not for everybody, but some of you guys did not put down a an insect control. All right, that's one of the things that happens. You didn't catch those larvae or the little jelly eggs or whatever you want to call them before they hatched. Now, me personally, I've treated my yard twice for insects i did it once in the spring i think it was one that lasted three months so we all know that stuff don't last three months then we did it again when i did movie night and that was probably what uh, about a month and a half mid-summer somewhere around there and i always do one right before fall i try to kill off other insects now for those of you who are watching this video and you're saying that oh that's just too much chemicals this may not be the video for you so click away now for those of you who have stayed, guys, prevention is the key. Don't wait until you see it happens. Prevent it from happening. It's just like a seatbelt. The seatbelts prevent you from getting hurt even more. Not prevent you from getting hurt, but it will prevent you from getting hurt even more. So that's one of the things I try to do is to keep those insects out of my yard. Personally, we don't know when the eggs and all that stuff are being hatched or laid. So preventative measures every two to three months, you're good to go. Guys, this is one of the ones I just used right here. I didn't just use it, but for those of you who have grubs, put this down. This also kills a few more insects. You're gonna have to read the label. It says season long control. And guys, a season is really three months. It's not a whole year. Season long, one season, fall, spring, summer. So that's why you see me applying it three times a year. All right. Same thing right here. If you got fire ants and this one claims to go six months. Ugh, I just, I don't see it, but that's what they're claiming. So every three months still, I would go ahead and apply something for my insect control. Now they got other brands and guys, if you are trying to kill army worms, Google pesticide that kills army worms. Most of the ones that's, that's a all over killer for insects, generally it'll have that down. There. Okay, guys, and your next one is pre-emergent. Now, the 1907 Let's Go, guys, that one has a dimension in it, which is a that I, I fear just the same thing. It prevents weeds, and normally it can kill baby crab grass or grassy type weeds before they actually get bigger. Okay, guys, before I go any further in this video, guys, if this video has been helpful and you learn something, please, please, for my ego, <laughs> click that subscription button, ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you'll be notified by YouTube. So here we are in 
how can I say it? Um, late August. We're still in summer. Summer doesn't end till September the 21st or something like that. I think fall starts September the 22nd. So the 1907 is a great start. You can still get that last little teeny weeny push I was talking about in my last video of nitrogen and still kind of keep the grass growing because it may not actually stop until was September, October. My mid-October is when my grass finally went to that tiger stripe or that leopard pattern. But the 1907 by Lesco is a good choice. Now, if you're not going to use that, they have other ones. They have this, and let me show you. Now, this is the one that I've normally been using, the 007 uh, Lesco. This one is the one that you get at Home Depot. All right, and it says it's a .86. It's a bit technical, guys, and I have videos for that. Stay to the end of the video, and I'll link those um, down in the description, or you'll see them at the end of this video in the eye up in the corner. But generally, guys, this one right here has... Uh, what is it? Pentamethylene in it. And that's a post and pre-emergent, which means it's going to prevent weeds and kind of kill the ones that kind of hatch after that. You got the 007 Stonewall, which is 0.68, which is strictly a predimine. This is not going to be a post or a pre right here. This is just going to kind of prevent the um, weeds from coming. Then you got the 1907, guys. This is not something that generally I recommend for the Bermuda grass, but if you're getting the last push, in the last little bit of summer, this may work for you. Now, having said that, when you put this stuff down, generally you're gonna have to come back with a second application to get that season long control. So if you do a 1907 in August, then come October, I would probably recommend you go to just a regular 007 or this 007. Now, there are other brands that you can buy. And guys, I wanna show you this. Yard Mastery has a smaller version of it. It's only five ounces in this bottle right here, guys which is great because the five pound bucket, you never got rid of it, all right? These bags, you may or may not get rid of them because some of them go 13,000, some go a little bit more. But if you have a smaller yard, this may work for you. At the end of this video, guys, I'm gonna link something in the description and it's gonna be an information tab in the eye. And if you click on that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply this product by the Sunnyland Corp and it's sold through the Yard Mastery. So I check that out at the end of this video. Okay guys, and the last of the two products is basically just the Sunnyland All Natural. Plenty of videos on that right there guys, in the middle of Oregon night. Don't wait until it gets cold to apply this. You wanna apply this at the very beginning of fall while you still have some heat because that's gonna help this stuff break down. Now, once it gets ice cold, it's, it's ineffective. It's not gonna do what it's supposed to do, but you wanna get this down, get it watered into the soil ASAP, and that's gonna help those roots stay healthy. It's kind of a lawn conditioner, but this, guys, I wanna repeat now, don't use this as your main source of fertilization. I've never used this just to fertilize my yard. I always went to like one of the 2411s, 2406, something like that, the 1600, Double, double dark, one of those are the 7020 um, stress blend as my main source of fertilization. So this is only as an enhancer right here, but generally you wanna get this down the first part of fall. So like I said, guys, this is a real short video. Just wanna kinda of get this out of here. These are the three things you need to do heading into fall or right at the beginning of fall. Like so I if said, you're wondering if you can apply, how to apply, you guys, you can do all this the same day. You literally can do all this the same day. There's none of these products are gonna make the other product work any better or any worse. So apply them all at the same time, but my advice is to do it later in the evening. Don't do it in the morning because the grass is still wet. Some of this stuff may stick to it and it's just gonna be too hot. Do it later in the evening, get it watered in and you'll be fine. So guys, hopefully this video, this simple video of how to, to what you need. This is not an application video. It's just a simple informational video telling you the products that you need to put down um, before fall gets here or uh, right at the, the, the tail end of summer, all right? What it, right at the tail end of summer or the beginning yeah. of Hopefully these videos right here will help you. Don't forget to click on this Sunnyland application. Don't forget to click on this video. This is gonna help you also. Click on this playlist, guys. This is what you really need to click on. Guys, don't forget my last video. You're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD short video. This is Michael Bowman. I'll talk to you soon.